Okay, back to flying today. And what are we doing here? Okay, that's what I to do. So I gotta make a left here. We're on the 30, heading east, left the 30. We're no longer gonna be flying that. We are now going to the 29, big interstate. And we're gonna go south for a little bit and control your plane. Okay. We're going to go south for a little bit and try to, or, um, definitely, uh, we're going to go down here to this next big intersection and we're going to take the 880 left and that will be heading directly east and then it'll soon turn into the 80. It's, it goes from the 880 to the 80. So. Anyway, here we go. So we are in now. We just left the Missouri Valley where I made that big turn. Not much there, a little, little town. And also we can already see the big intersection up here. But we'll make a left on the 880 and we'll continue flying east. This will turn into the 80, as I said, in a short while. And then we will follow that all the way across Iowa. We'll run into Des Moines, a pretty big city. Then we'll run into Iowa City as I start to make my turn here. We're in West Iowa right now. And then we're going to go east to Davenport, Iowa. And that's going to be right on the border of Illinois. Okay, we're coming upon a small town now. Well, this is actually the biggest town since I left, uh, since I started today. But this is called Bob Avaka. A V O C A. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. But it's kind of a nice little community there. This is just what it's been looking like here in Iowa. I thought things would be a little bit more exciting the, the farther east I get. But this is not really too much. Okay, I'm paused to have a look at these windmills I want around. I'm also noticing some planes up there. Look at that. Looks like they're heading east to west. So anyway, let's get it started. We are back into the area where the windmills everywhere that just kind of started. I have actually never seen windmills like this before in real life. Or on flight simulator. Cool for sure. So this is the little town of Adair down here. We're still going to be quite a ways from Des Moines. Okay, we are entering West Des Moines. You can see how it's becoming a pretty major city. And this is where things are really going to get tricky with the freeway. So I need to get right over the top of this one. Going to start taking this into a much more populated area. And then we're going to go walk up to the next. We're going to go two more um, <clears throat> interchanges and they're going to come really quick. The second one, the first one is going to be right there in front of the plane. And then the next one is going to be a gigantic big one. It looks like the, the stack in Los Angeles or something. Well, it's not quite that big. But anyway, that's where we need to make a big turn. And it's going to be right here. This is where... This is the 80 now. We're still on the 80. And now we're going to be following this 80 on up for a while, it's turning really sharp. Then I need to move my Google Earth ahead so I can see where it's going to turn off at. Okay, the worst part of this is over. We're still on the 35. So all we have to do is just head straight along this freeway. We're going to come up to two more uh, somewhat gnarly uh, jumbled messes of freeways. And we're just going to fly right past them and stay 
break and that will take us on to 80. It just suddenly becomes 80 from there. Okay, I am in bit of, a bit of a pickle now. The sun is going down quickly. Uh, so I, there's, I've been searching, stopped the game, I've been searching around for the airport. I'm just outside the Brooklyn Raceway area. I'm still on 80. And I'm heading towards, oh, what is it, Iowa City? And Iowa City's going to be the first big airport. The first airport that I can find. There is, of course, going to be one up in Cedar Rapids, but that's pretty far north. So I'm guessing I still got a good. 35 or 40 minutes of flying to do before we get to Iowa City. So that's what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to try to land there. Okay, well, here we are. You can see the sun is about to go down. We've got the moon up there. We are just arriving to Iowa City. So I'm going to have this intersection right down there below the plane. And then I need to and at the next big one that's coming up. I need to make a right turn. And the airport is probably going to be that really far distant toothpick. You see, I'm going too fast. Here's our big intersection. Okay, we see a jet up there at about the 2 o'clock position. Another one over there at about the 9 a.m. position and Delta yet another one about to be on And there's no jets, so anyway. Good day. So we are turning now on to 218. American 1707 contact We've been on Chicago 80 Center, all this time, and now we're on 218. Good day. But we're going to have to get back on the 80 when I take off tomorrow morning. <clears throat> Or whenever I get back to this, I'm not going to get back going to this. To one, three, five, decimal, six, so American we're going to go seven, down zero, here just seven. a short ways, and there we see the airport. We see the toothpick in the distance, Iowa City. Minnesota. So I'm going to have to just deviate a little bit off of 218, and the runway is going to be almost. Well, here. Anyway, we'll get landed and spend the night here. Fly again tomorrow. I was sure hoping to make it all the way. Slightly. Still not really sure when I should be applying my flaps. I can't see the airport, unfortunately. Looks like two, uh, a little over two nautical miles. Is that right? No, no, it's right here. There's the airport. Well, I wonder if I should start. Some flaps here. Okay. Get the flaps down just slightly. So there's our landing field right there. Generic seven mic our landing strip. I'm not sure which uh, which runway this is. So if I can zoom down really quick and see on Google. It's going to be seven. We're going to be landing at seven. If I take off in that same direction, I'll be able to pretty easily be able to find the 80 again. Throttle down a little bit more. Oops, I'm going the wrong way. Oh, man. I'm getting a little tired. We're not very much in line. That's Chicago Center. Sure. Clear to Well, this is a pretty good approach for me. Chicago Center, Lindbergh, four four no pilot license. 
Okay, we cut our throttle all the way down. Descend and maintain 7,200 feet. Expect ILS this is pretty smooth for me. I'm going to go ahead and do full flaps. Whoops, someone's wrong way. <clears throat> yeah, no, I, well, it's not a bad landing for me, but it's horrible, obviously. Ugh. Yeah, I just didn't quite get it right. A little too tired. Uh, okay, come on, get down there. That's not a bad landing for me. If you've seen any of my other videos, you know how terrible I am at landing. That wasn't too bad, so let's just hit the brake here as we're about to... That's not the brake. That's the brake. Oh, I tried to turn and I can't get turned. Anyway, we're off the runway. And we are here in Iowa City. So I will definitely get this um, back up in the air, hopefully tomorrow morning, and we'll continue our journey on. We don't have that much farther to go. We'll get back on the 80, and I would guess we got about 100 or so miles to Davenport, Iowa. And then we'll be in Illinois, and so we'll be way over halfway to... New York City, but we got to deal with Chicago. We got to deal with Chicago coming up. It's going to be a, a hornet's nest. So, anyway, if you like this video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.